going on, everybody? Hope you're all having a fantastic day today. Now, ladies and gentlemen, in today's video, I have to go ahead and discuss something that is kind of worrying me just a tad bit when it comes to Modern Warfare 3. A lot of you guys probably won't give a crap, but in my opinion, this is one of the coolest parts about this game, quite literally one of the coolest parts about this game. And after seeing Season 3 and also Season 3 Reloaded, I am slowly yet surely coming to the conclusion that Sledgehammer might not care too much about this anymore within Modern Warfare 3, and I think it's going to slowly yet surely start dying off. But of course, ladies and gentlemen, before we go ahead and dive deep into the commentary, if you guys are interested in more content just like this, don't forget to go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell. And if you guys want to go ahead and support this channel a little bit further, leave a like. You know, it always helps in the algorithm and helps push out my content so more new people can actually see this stuff in the recommended. And if you guys want to check out any of my live streams, I do that over on Kick pretty much daily. So, of course, we do that over on Kick, and we have a link to that channel down in the description of this video, where we also host open lobbies over there as well, guys. So if you want to party up and possibly be in the gameplay on this channel, like I said, tune into the stream. And that stream, I would say, usually goes live between 12 to 1 p.m. Eastern time. All right, so what the heck are you talking about, JB? Today, I am discussing the game mode called War. I've discussed this game mode a few times in the past because it really is a fun game mode, of course, in my personal opinion. And it's gotten some love these past, you know, two seasons. But the third season, it got completely neglected. And I'll be real with you guys, I'm starting to think that this mode is just not a priority for them anymore. Now, I don't know if it's coming down to the player base just not wanting to play it, they don't want to enjoy it, or they just have other things they want to prioritize. But I still want to sit down and discuss. Guys, they just went ahead and added in a brand new game mode, 9v9 War. Now, yeah, you could say, well, this is dumb. Focusing on the game mode, right, JB? They're not ignoring it. If they're adding a 9v9 war, they obviously want people to play it. Yeah, yeah, I, I totally agree. And this game mode is phenomenal. It's absolutely out freaking standing. It's amazing. And honestly, I don't think 6v6 war should even be a thing anymore. I think 9v9 war should be the standard, the new standard, because it plays tremendously good. It's awesome. But while playing this game mode, it really sparked into my head again. It's like, this is such a good game mode. But it has absolutely no support, no love, n nothing. And it really sucks because the maps are really cool and they're detailed and they're in depth. I mean, even on the map that you're seeing right here, there's little Easter eggs where you can go and grab the, the, the ray gun and actually use it within the match. There's so many cool little things sprinkled around that makes me want to play it. But it's just not enough content to keep me going. It really is not. And with Season 3, we got absolutely nothing for this game mode. And I was waiting. I really was waiting because I thought they were going to have a little bit of a, a sneak drop with Season 3 Reloaded. Where maybe they would put in something a little fresh. Maybe they would add in, you know, a new map. Which would be phenomenal. But sadly, they didn't. They, they didn't add in anything when it comes to War Mode this time around. It got no love whatsoever. Now, I do think that 6v6 had a play in this because obviously, uh, for those who don't know, we got the most content I could possibly think of when it comes to one season for 6v6. We got tons of maps, and even though some of them are remasters or potentially remakes, at the end of the day, there's so many maps in 6v6 right now that it's awesome. And I hope they keep adding them. What, we probably got like two more seasons coming up here. So if we can at least get three to four new maps for 6v6, we are still stacked we are absolutely stacked ladies and gentlemen like when i hop on 10v10 and 6v6 and modern warfare 3 there's so many maps up in the rotation it's phenomenal and at first it was rough because it was only modern warfare 2 you know og maps which made it a bit tedious but now that there's a ton of new maps as well and also some of the modern warfare 2 2022 maps thrown into the rotation for 6v6 it's just an it's an endless amount of content it's quite literally an endless amount of content when it comes to the maps that you get to play on. And for those who, you know, know me on this channel, you know I love maps because that's where the variety comes from in these games. Call of Duty is a pretty basic shooter, right? But the variety comes from the flows of these different maps, different power positions, different lanes, different ways to flank, different ways to engage, and every map has its own identity and vibe. And when you have a lot of it, there's just so many different ways of going about playing the game. You can play them with LMGs, snipers, ARs, SMGs, deck out these guns in different ways to make them play differently. And, uh, you know, having more maps in the rotation will allow you to mess around with more types of weapons and more ways of using them. I love it. 
But War, on the other hand, got nothing. And I'm starting to think that it's because 6v6 got so much love this time around. But I hope that this isn't going to be what's mainstream for them nowadays. I don't want 6v6 to take absolutely everything. Even though, even though I am a 6v6 guy. But I've said this time and time and time again, that War, to me personally, is the best thing that has ever happened to the 6v6 community. Everything that is new into this game is for Warzone. Or it's something to try to copy Battlefield with Ground War, you know? They don't really branch off when it comes to 6v6 to give something to their core player base that is different you know it's it's definitely a different style than what we're used to when it comes to 6v6 but can a 6v6 player still play it and enjoy it yes whereas if you go into ground war or if you go into war zone or if you go into any other of these modes that they put into this game besides 10v10 it's hard for a 6v6 fan to really enjoy it because it's so massively different than what they're used to whereas war it's not. It's a completely different vibe, a completely different game mood, a completely different flow. But 6v6 players, you can hop right into it and you will feel comfortable. You don't have to feel like you're fighting to understand or fighting to learn or fighting to find enemies. No, it just it just flows. It flows. And I appreciate that. And I really want them to push with this mood for 6v6 fans. I honestly consider war maps just as important as some 6v6 maps because I play this mode quite frequently as a 6v6 guy. I really do. It, it's always in my rotation. I probably play it every single time I stream. If I play, you know, a couple few hours, you best believe I'm going to get some war matches in that time. I 1,010% am because it feels outstanding. And the lack of love for this game mood is really starting to worry me a bit because, like I said, I don't want it to die. I don't want them to absolutely ignore it. I want to see them add more cool things within this game mood. All these other maps, like when this map right here came out, it only made my my cravings for more content even crazier. You know, before I was like, okay, you know, if they released trash war content, then I probably wouldn't care. And if all the content in war was absolute dog water and it was all pointless and stupid, I wouldn't be looking forward to any war content. And honestly, I'd be like, okay, it's just, it's time to scrap the game mood and we'll focus on 6v6. But the problem we have here is they made it so good. They actually made it amazing, which makes me crave it. It doesn't make me want to throw it away or ignore it or never see it again. It makes me want more all the hidden easter eggs all the hidden spots the the cool you know uh, combinations like adding zombies into the flow of the mix too and the war experience you know it makes me think what are the other possibilities what else can they do with this format that they're not taking advantage of? It, it makes me want to see where they can expand, where they can explore, where they can make more variety. Because we only have two maps. Only, only two maps in the rotation. And one of my favorite parts about these war maps is the fact that they're all split between other remasters as well. Like, for example, the first map. That we have in war where you're like riding the tank. I always forget the operation names. But you know you're riding your tank up all the way until the final objective. It's really cool because it's three unique maps. Right? First and foremost you get hideout from on over 2019. Whatever. Not really our master. But then once you break through hideout. You move into crossfire. One of my favorite maps ever in Call of Duty history. I was so excited to see this return because they never remaster things that are very unique anymore. I feel like they always remaster the most obvious maps you know the ones that everybody always wants like where like for example where's crossfire and where's like cracked from black ops 1 you know there's so many cool maps that haven't been reintroduced back into the rotation because they keep opting in to bring the same ones back again and again and again it drives me crazy but back to the main topic while you're riding through you go through crossfire which is phenomenal i love it it's great and then finally for the very final spot you go to countdown but it's not just countdown because you actually get to go down into the missiles and see what it's like underground it's again outstanding especially for hardcore og fans of the call of duty franchise anybody that you know obviously play cop for Love that, man. It's really cool to see this and witness that and explore. I want more. <laughs> I might sound a little greedy here, but I want more. 
This is such a phenomenal experience, and it's such a great use of some classic maps. I love running through them like that. It gives me those OG classic campaign vibes as well, because it's almost similar, you know? And Call of Duty 4, the campaign mission, it wasn't the same. You know, it's not like you're going through Hideout, because obviously, that's in 2019. But, you know, they connected the maps, like going from Bog over to Crossfire. I just personally love, love the overall vibe when they go ahead and do something like that. But guys... That's just my personal take on this. I'm a tad bit worried that they might be removing war. Well, not removing it, but, you know, just not really supporting it anymore. Kind of like how DMZ was in Modern Warfare 2 2022, you know, just how they slowly, like, they, they worked on it a decent amount through, you know, over half its life cycle, but then slowly just said, yeah, we're just going to back up a little bit from this. And Ground Warfare, because, you know, they hop into Ground War and they slowly start backing up and giving less crap to it, which I don't really mind, but this is great for 6v6 players, and this is something that I do not want to see them back up from. I want to see them keep pushing and pushing and pushing more because the actual experiences and the variety and the Easter eggs... It's phenomenal across the board in this mood, and I think that this is a solid contender for a mode that can keep coming back again and again and again in future titles that is made for the 6v6 audience. But of course, ladies and gentlemen, go down in the comments of this video. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think Sledgehammer is going to keep you know, supporting this mode? We're going to get more maps in Season 4, Season 5, Season 6, or do you think it's going to slowly dwindle out and you know die and we're not really going to get that much uh, interesting stuff out of this mode anymore within the upcoming seasons? And also, let me know, did you give 9v9 war try do you like it do you hate it personally again like i said earlier <laughs> i'm grinding it a lot it's so much fun but as always if you enjoyed today's video leave a like if you hate it leave a dislike don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell we post daily here at 8 in the morning eastern time and if you want to check out any of my live streams i do that over on kick pretty much daily you guys can find a link to that channel down in the description of this video and that stream goes live between 12 to 1 p.m eastern time but as always thank you for tuning in and i'll see you on the next one peace out